What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You guys, this is going to be a three-part series, okay? So I want you to watch back to back to back to back. Now, the video might not be out, so if you're watching this video today, the video, you know, part two doesn't come out till tomorrow. So you might, obviously, you got to, you know, you follow it in order. But if you're catching this video at any other time, then I'll have it linked at the end of the video. Um, I'll even have it linked in the description, but it's a three-part series. So try to watch it back to back to back, okay? Um, because this is the most important, man. This is the most important. This is the most important basic um, step that you have to implement right away um, for anyone running Facebook ads to try to capture leads. This is as basic as it gets, man. Um, this is as important as it gets. And you got to know these basic fundamentals. Okay, so here's step one. Step one is making sure that your Facebook pixel is on every page. Okay, so this is step one. This is installing your Facebook pixel. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. Now, Come to your Facebook page, um, and I, as you can see here, obviously this is not me, right? I'm working on my buddy Marlon's page. Shout out to Marlon. God bless Marlon. Crushing it out there in Arkansas um, with Saley Portable Buildings. This guy is on a mission to build a, a few different streams of income online, and um, I want to help him. So I'm logged into his account. I'm gonna I'm gonna set up these basic steps for him, um, and then really start running Facebook ads to help him crush it. So. But again, this is the most important first step, and this has to be done first. So here's what we're going to do. I'm logged into his page. I'm going to come over here, click on create, and I'm going to click on add. Okay, now there's a couple pages that I want you to bookmark. In fact, there's going to be a few pages. But again, this is a three-part series, so watch each video. Okay, and this is for the beginners, man. So those of you that are freaking advanced, crushing it already online, this ain't for you, right? So go ahead and, you know, freaking log off now if you want. But if you're a basic beginner, if you're looking to run Facebook ads, if you're just starting out with landing pages and all that stuff, and you're looking to capture leads, this is for lead generation, okay, for lead capture, um, then these three videos are going to be for you for sure. So here's what we do. Um, you come in here, you click on ad, and that's going to bring you to this page right here. This is the ad setup, okay? So I speak to many, many business owners, and they all try to run it from their business page, and they'll come over to their business page and boost a post. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that from your cell phone either. You have to start running ads from your computer. All right. This is just the best way to do it in my in my professional opinion, because you have a completely different view of the platform and you can see everything right here in the ads manager. Okay. So um this is where you want to bookmark for sure. Bookmark this page and and this is the ad setup. Okay. You got three three simple steps: campaign, ad set and add. Now we're not going to cover those in this specific video, but I want you to bookmark this for the hell of it. Okay. Cause this is an important page. This is where all the magic happens. This is where you'll be setting up your ads. Now, once you're in here, we're going to click on these dots over here to the left and we're going to come down to events manager. What we need is our pixel. Okay. So that pixel is a piece of code. Um, all we're going to do is copy it and we're going to add it to all of our pages, but that allows Facebook to track all the activity that's going on. Um, and really it's, it's to track the visitor. If someone lands on your landing page, it's good that Facebook knows that for ad purposes, right? If someone opts in and they let, they go to your landing page and they enter their name and email, and then they go to a, to, to the next page, which is what we call a thank you page. It's good to have your pixel on that. So Facebook can track it. So as we start to track all these different pages, it's going to help us with our Facebook advertising. Okay. So, um, Here's what we're going to do right now. We're going to simply click on this blue button right here. This is a brand new account, brand new pixel, brand new everything. And so as I clicked on it, it brings me to this manually add pixel code to website. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to simply click to copy the code. Then I'm going to come over here to my actual um, landing page builder. So wherever you're building your landing pages, that's what you need for sure. I tell people all the time, man, your only two expenses in 2020 when it comes to marketing your business, whether you're an offline business, whether you're a freaking online business, it doesn't matter, dude. Your only two marketing expenses need to be Facebook ads and your landing page software. That is it. And so many people are still juggling multiple softwares, one for your landing page, another software for your email automation, another software for your calendar, another software for your freaking um, online digital course. If you're, if you're publishing, you know, videos and packaging all up, package, packaging them all up in some type of uh, digital training course or a coaching course, that's a fourth software. 
I do everything through Kartra, man. All of that is all in one at one low monthly fee for Kartra. So if, you, if you're new to landing pages or even if you're out there on ClickFunnels and you're like, damn, dude, I'm paying a hundred bucks just for landing pages. I'm telling you, dude, I pay a hundred bucks for everything I just mentioned. So there's a 14 day trial in the description, profitwithkartra.online. Set up a 14-day trial and start comparing it. Compare it to ClickFunnels. Compare it to freaking Active Campaign or Infusionsoft or MailChimp or whatever, whatever services you're using, man. Set up a 14-day trial and compare it. And when you set up a 14-day trial, I will literally jump on with you and I'll help you get off to a fast start free of charge. Just click on the link in the description and, and set it up. But with all this, the landing pages, everything I just mentioned, I run everything through Kartra. And, and any, anyone that I end up helping, whether it's a client that I bring aboard or just someone that sets up their Kartra account and reaches out to me and says, David, hey, can you help me with all this? Dude, I'm telling you, I will give you my time and I will help you with all this. So that's what I'm doing with Marlon. It's so, and so this right here is his account, his Kartra account. And so all I'm going to do is I have these three pages that I'm going to add the pixel to. This is a landing page. This right here is a thank you page. And this over here is the thank you for scheduling page. Okay. So my pixel needs to be on every single page and the way you, you, you can even, you know, um, test it and really know that you successfully added your pixel is if you come over here to Google and you type in Facebook pixel helper, this right here is a free plugin that's going to sit right here in the top, right? Okay, so right here in the top right in the toolbar is where this plugin will now sit. This right here allows you to know who's pixeling you and who's not. And in order, I mean, when, when you go to a website and you, and you notice that that pixel, like for example, let's go, to, um, let's go to any random website. But this right here, you're gonna click on it and you're going to install this uh, uh, Chrome extension. Okay. Face Facebook pixel helper. And whenever you're on a page and it's gray, that's when you know that website is not tracking you. Okay. But again, I don't care who's tracking me. I, that doesn't matter at all. What I care, the reason why I want to install it is so I can test my own pages. So for example, I'm on this page, no pixel on it. I'm on this page, no pixel on it. That's why it blows my mind when I speak to people and they're like, yeah, David, I got this website. I'm running Facebook ads and freaking, you know, I'm trying to crush it. I go to their website and they don't even have their pixel on the damn page. I'm like, holy shit, bro. Like you're not going to crush it, dude, at all. Like you better install that pixel right away or you're going to spend an arm and a leg on your Facebook and Instagram advertising. So this pixel is what I call step one. So if I go to any website, let's see if I can go to, I don't know, ESPN. Let's see if I can go to ESPN.com and let's see if they're tracking me with their Facebook pixel. So it's, it's shaded gray. It's shaded gray. I come to the page. Let's see if it lights up. It should light up blue and green if they're tracking me. They're not tracking me. So on this specific page on their website, they are not tracking me with any Facebook advertising. Let's say I go to, um, let's say I go to, um, shit, let's just, let's, let's go to Google and let's just type in shoes. Let's type in shoes and let's go to any random website. Let's go to DSW designer and let's click on the website. Let's go to their actual website and let's see if this thing, if this gray thing turns blue. So I come to the website, I come to the website and bam, it lights up. So DSW, shout out to DSW, they know what they're doing. They have their pixel on their website and they are tracking everyone who lands on the page. Now, why is that so important? Because if I come here and let's say I do not order anything, now they have the data. Now they have my data, not my name and phone number, right? There's privacy policy. So Facebook's not giving them that type of information. Facebook is just given the data as far as this user landed on your page. No name and number, everything is by code. And so the, the data, the reason why that's so important for DSW is because now <coughs> they, they tracked me. So when they go run Facebook ad number two, they're gonna wanna include anyone who landed on this page but may have not purchased. That's a page view. 
So that's powerful. So when I go through Facebook and I start scrolling through Facebook, let's say, let's say I just refresh my page. If they were really gangster with it, if they were really running Facebook ads, which who knows if they are, you can have your Facebook pixel on the page and not even be running ads. And that's okay. But your pixel is on the page because as you're not running ads, you still want to track that data. Facebook is doing that for you for free. You don't have to run an ad. Just put the damn pixel on the page and you can start building this audience of people who are landing on each page. So look, as I click on men, I click on that tab. Look, let's see if it lights up. So I click on any specific link on any specific page. This thing should light up. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Bam. Now they know even more specific data. They know that anybody who landed on this page was interested in men's shoes. So again, what you're doing with that or what they would be doing with that, what, what Facebook would allow them to do with that is create what we call a, or what Facebook calls a custom audience. And that's going to be tomorrow's video. Or if you're catching this video at any other time, stay to the end of this one and you'll see it pop up at the bottom. But that's, that's part two. That is step two custom audiences. I'll show you how to do that in, in the next video. But here's what's going on. Because their pixel is tracking me, they're now able to put me in this custom audience. And let's name the custom audience men's shoes. So now as they go run future ads, they can literally be target laser target focused on that specific audience and only target that audience and only show them ads on men's shoes, right? So anyone who lands here, they got that data. They are not going to show me an ad on women's shoes because I didn't click on women's shoes. I clicked on men's shoes. So if they were, if they were constantly running ads, right? Who knows if they're running any, any Facebook ads right now? It doesn't matter. But if they were, if they were running Facebook ads, I would literally come over here. I would refresh my page. I would scroll through and I would see an ad from them on men's shoes. Like, let's just for the hell of it. Let's just scroll a few times down. Toonly. That's an ad. That's not DSW. Let me scroll down even more. Okay. So that's Marty. Um, doesn't look like they're running ads because I'm telling you, man, that's how freaking gangster this stuff is, dude. I would literally come back to Facebook, refresh my page, scroll down, and I would see a DSW ad if they were running ads, which they could be running all kinds of different ads, you know, who knows? But at the same time, that pixel is tracking everything and I should see an ad. So if they were running ads, which I, they, they may not be, they may not be because I would for sure see an ad and, and that ad would be retargeting page views or retargeting men's page views, right? So they may not have any ads running right now and that's fine, but that's, that's the, pur that's the purpose. And that's the, 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 the reason why the freaking pixel is so important, man. So you can really get detailed laser focused on your ads and not spend an arm and a leg by targeting the wrong people, target people who are landing on your damn page. That's who you want to be retargeting, right? So, but shout out to them anyways for at least having the pixel installed and, and they, should, they should be running ads to me right now um, on men's shoes if they were really you know, up on it. So here's all I'm gonna do, you guys. I'm gonna just simply add it. As you can see, these three pages is what I'm gonna add it to, okay? These three pages do not have the pixel on it. And once I get the pixel, which all I did is I clicked on that, once I install it, these gray boxes should light up. Okay, so let's go to each page. Let's go to this first page. This is going to be the landing page. I'm gonna simply come in here, edit. And most of these landing page softwares are the same. So um, whether you're using ClickFunnels or Kajabi or freaking Shopify, if you're e-commerce, whatever, you, this pixel goes on every damn page, okay? And, and most of the softwares are pretty, pretty user-friendly in a sense where you just go in, you go to the settings and you go down to the tracking and you, you, it should say specifically Facebook ads. Um, so in this case with Kartra, I log into any page and this is what it's going to show me. So I come in here, I click on settings to the left. Now this is the landing page, right? So people that come here, but do not land on the thank you page. So that means that they did not fill out the form. 
those are people that I'm going to put in a custom audience to show them the next ad. And again, that'll be the next video. So custom audiences are super important. And that's step two. So with this being said, step one, tracking code, we come down here to Facebook ads and we paste in that code. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter twice and I'm actually going to get a little bit more specific and I'm going to hit the blue button and then I'm going to come down to manually add event code. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come down in this case, it is considered uh, e-commerce and retail. So I'm going to grab it. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it on that e-commerce in detail. And all I'm going to do is come down and I'm going to click on view content. I'm going to go with the view content one because if it's not view content, let me show you. These are all the different ones. View content, search, add to wish list, add to cart, initiate checkout. These are all the different. So now that our pixel is on the page, we can get even more specific by adding uh, um, an event code to it. So did they purchase? So a purchase event code would go on the thank you page. So as someone goes to your page and they, they purchase your product, they enter their credit card information, they go to the thank you for ordering page after the, pro the credit card process and everything is all good, they go to the thank you for ordering page. That page is where I would put a pixel event. I mean, excuse me, a purchase event. So now I can get really detailed with this pixel and, and start labeling it under these different um, um, event codes. So in this case, I'm gonna go with view content. And all I'm gonna do is I'm going to simply copy and click done. That is it for that one. So let's go back to the page. I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to click apply. And then I'm going to go to save progress. And I'm going to publish live. So now if I go back to the page, okay, if I go back to the page and I refresh it, that pixel helper, that little gray box, it should light, light up. Okay, so let's close this out. We're gonna close, we're gonna return to dashboard. We're done with this first initial landing page. So if I come back over here, this is the page right here. So right now, there's no pixel, right? But if I refresh it, let's see what happens when I refresh it. Bam, lights up you guys. Okay, so it lights up, I click on it. And this is what I, what, what I labeled under page view, okay? It's also view content as well, but that's the pixel, Marlon, Marlon Saley's pixel. That page is now being tracked. Now here's what I'm gonna do for the thank you for ordering or the thank you for registering page. I'm gonna come back to Facebook, okay? I'm gonna come back to Facebook. Let's refresh this page really quick. And now all I'm going to do is I'm gonna add that pixel to the next page, but I'm gonna give it a different event code uh, to, to track, okay? So let's refresh this and now let's come into and get that pixel again. So we're gonna click on set up pixel and we're gonna manually add pixel code. We're gonna copy and we're gonna add it to that second page. So let's go back and this is the page right here, but I'm gonna show you, it's the same process, but I'm gonna show you a different um, event code that I'm gonna grab because this is, this, is, this is an actual lead. This is a person that went to the landing page, um, um, entered their name and email, and then came to this page. So that, that's a lead, okay? That is a lead. So here's how I'm gonna categorize it as I set up the pixel. I'm gonna come into the, into the builder. I'm gonna click on settings. I'm gonna click on tracking code. And I'm going to scroll down, do the same thing, paste that pixel in, hit enter twice. Okay. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit continue, manually add event code, and I'm going to name this one. We're going to leave it in the e-commerce and retail, and we're going to scroll down, scroll down, and we're going to name this one. Um, shit, there's not a lead one. I wanted to go with lead. And, and I may have to change the category. I may have to change the category. So if I change the category and I go with, I'll just go with other business category, that's fine. I'll go scroll down and there is lead. I wanna be able to track this. I want it to say lead. So I'm gonna copy that one and that's the one I'm gonna paste in. Okay, so let's come over here. 
Let's paste that in. Let's click apply. Save progress. Publish live. And these are the main, main pages, you guys. Now, with the pixel, depending on how many pages you have in your funnel, you, this pixel is going on everything. It's going on everything, on every single page. It's going on every page. But in this case, this is as basic as it gets. Landing page. Now, let's go refresh the page over here. Landing page, as they opt in, the thank you page. And if you're going for appointments, this is the appointment confirmation page, okay? So let me come back to this page. I just added it to this page. So right now it's gray. As I refresh it, now it lights up. And let's click on it. Page view, lead, bam. Now let's do the very, very last one, okay? So let's go back in to the builder. And this is the one right here. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on edit. Let's open that one up. And then I'm going to go back to settings. I'm going to go back to the ads manager, grab that pixel and change the event code. Okay. So let's go back in. Okay. So let's click on, let's click on settings, tracking code, go down to Facebook and go, grab the pixel. Let's go grab that pixel. So let's hit done on this one. That's the last one. I'm going to come back again, set up pixel, manually add pixel, copy it, continue. Let's go back. We're going to paste it in right there, hit enter twice. And then I'm going to come back to the pixel and I'm going to manually add event code. And in this case, let's see if I can find it under e under e-commerce. Um, schedule, bam, that's the one I want. So I'm going to, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to scroll down, click on that, copy that, and I'm going to bring it back over here, paste it. And then I'm going to save progress. And publish live. That is it, man. Those are the three most important pages, you guys. And again, with that, entire freaking process there. You can just duplicate that over and over and over, grab the pixel um, and put it on every single page and then just label, you know, the event code, label it whatever the heck you want. In this case, I did schedule, I did lead, I did page view. So now if I come back and I go back to the confirmation page, I click right here, nothing's there. I refresh it and bam. It lit up and it's going to, it's going to light up under page view and schedule. So you guys, that's as basic and, it, and that's, that's just the most important step you have to do first before you start running Facebook ads. And again, this, all this is for running ads to capture a lead. If you're over here, okay, you're going to bookmark this page. Oh, this is one page you want to bookmark for sure. This is the dashboard. Now, as I showed you over here in the Facebook, as you click on the home, Actually, as you click on create, as I started with in the beginning, you click on add. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to bookmark this page because this is where the ad starts, right? This is, where, this is where all the magic happens. This is the setup of everything. Um, let's go to the pages real quick or to the, let me close out these pages real quick, actually. Okay, so... I clicked on create, I clicked on add, and it brings me to this, this actual setup right here. I want you to bookmark this. This is where you start the freaking ad from, right? This is the damn most important page right here. Bam, right here. And if you're a real estate agent or anything loan officer or anything in housing, you gotta always check that box. If you're in employment and you're running ads for job offers, internships, professional cert, uh, certification programs or other related opportunities, check employment. If you're running credit card ads, check this because if you don't check that your ad will get rejected okay so if you're a real estate agent check that if not then uncheck it so if you're running everything i went over dude how to install the pixel on all these damn pages it's mainly for conversion ads okay if you're running conversion ads and who the hell is even running conversion ads those who are capturing leads or 
those who are making sales. So if you're selling stuff on your e-commerce website, flashlights, books, whatever the hell, and I'm not talking about your Amazon freaking FBA store um, at all. If you have a random website and you're selling physical products on your website, or even if you have a Shopify website, your pixel goes on every damn page and nine out of 10 times you're running conversion ads to capture a lead or to make a sell. Okay. So everything I went over is, 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 is to capture leads or make a sell and that's conversion. If you want to, you can also run traffic to that landing page to get the pixel some more data. You can always do that too, but at the same time, I would go straight into conversions. Now, if you don't have a landing page, therefore our pixel is irrelevant. Our pixel is not going anywhere because we don't even have landing pages. We don't have a website. And, and again, landing pages, website, whatever. But if you're running Facebook ads, it's going to a landing page. Do not run Facebook ads to your website. Now you can have your Facebook pixel on your website and that's what you want to do for sure. But don't run ads to your website because you're not going to make sales. You're not going to capture leads. There's too much on your website going on. You run an ad, people get to your website. There's 50 million things to click on. Don't do it that way. You have to be running ads to a landing page to give you the opportunity to capture a lead, make a sell. So you're running an ad directly to one product. So as I showed you with DSW, their website has 50 million products. They, they would not be running an ad directly to that website. They'd be having their pixel on it to track the data of anyone who's landing there. And then as, as they track my data, they noticed that I, I clicked on men's shoes. So if they were smart with it, they would run me an ad directly to men's shoes and get me to purchase a men's shoe, right? That, that's detailed targeting. That's what this is all about. So take me to a landing page, but, 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 but have that pixel on any page, website, web page, have it on anything. And, and, and nine out of 10 times, hopefully you're trying to make a sell or capture a lead and that's conversions. So if you're not doing that, okay, you, you'd be running engagement, you'd be running video views or you'd be running lead generation. Okay. And the pixel has nothing to do with any of those ones. Okay. Um, brand awareness, reach pixel has nothing to do with any of those messages. Pixel has nothing to do with any, any of those. It's only if I'm, if I'm planning on running an ad, having them click on learn more or download now or buy now, or whatever the hell the call to action is. It's only if I'm, if I'm running it with the intention of taking them off of Facebook to my page. That's where that pixel needs to be is on my page, okay? So bookmark this. This is super important. And then what you're going to also want to do is bookmark this. So how do, I get, how do I get here? I simply, from here, I click on these dots. I go to Ads Manager, and this is the dashboard. So you want to bookmark that ad setup page, and then you want to bookmark this dashboard. Those are the two most important pages that you'll be on most of the time. Um, and then again, to get to your pixel, let's do it again. Let's start from the beginning. Click on these dots up here. You're going to go to events manager. And then you'll find your pixel right over here. And every platform, sometimes the platform looks a little different, but it's, it's pretty much the same. Like if you're in a different country, it might look a little different. Um, so now that the pixel's set up, now that I have the pixel on these pages, this is where I would see it now. So I clicked on those dots. I clicked on events manager. It brings me here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the blue. And as you see the number two right there, it's already tracking for me. This is how we get to it now. So I clicked on the blue and then I click on over here, setup, install pixel. Then it brings me here, which is where it brought me in, br brought me initially. But now that I have the pixel installed for the very first time, this is the layout that it'll show me now. Okay. So hopefully that helps you guys. That is step one, installing your Facebook pixel. Um, stay tuned to the very next video. That is going to be step two, which is important as all of this. And that's um, installing or that's creating your Facebook custom audiences. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Over now.